Let's create a three step process with icons. Let us go to shapes. From basic shapes, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle like so. Then keep it to one side, make a duplicate of this and keep it to the other side and divide this second one into two equal halves. To do that, I'm going to use a simple line and give it a different color so it is visible. Select the circle and then the line and make sure that it is properly aligned to the center. Then using that as the guide, I'm going to draw a rectangle like so and then select the circle, hold the shift button down and select the rectangle and then say shape subtract. Now we have a perfect semicircle. We don't need this line anymore. Let me select this shape, go to shape fill, give it black color, shape outline, no outline. Then let us go to the previous one, go to shape fill, say no fill and shape outline, black color. Go to shape outline once again and increase the weight to around two one by four points and then change the dashes to something like this, which is square dot. Now I'm going to place this right on top of the previous one and make sure that everything is properly aligned by going to align center, then press control G to create a group. Now I'm going to insert an icon here. So let us go to insert icons. Since I'm using Microsoft 365, I have this option to use icons right away inside PowerPoint. You can choose whatever you want. Let me choose some random food and drinks kind of icon. Let me choose something like this and say insert. Let us go to graphics outline and choose maybe some kind of a blue color like this as the outline. And I'm going to place this right above this. If you're interested, you can even add the graphic fill and use the same blue color. Then I'm going to write some text here. So let us go to the text box tool and then write. This is some sample text. Let me fold this and place this over here and then use center alignment. This font needs to be in light gray color. So let us go to the font color and use the light gray color like this. At the start, this text should not be clearly visible. The main focus is on the icon. Then let us select this. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place this right next to the previous one and then press Ctrl D again. So we have got three of these shapes. Now we can change this icon to something else. Go to change graphic from icons. And since we are in the topic of food, I'm going to choose one other food item. I'm going to do the same thing for this one as well. Let me choose this and say insert. Now we've got three of these icons and the relevant text. Now I'm going to draw an arrow here. Let us go to shapes from block arrows. Use this one called as arrow chevron and then draw the chevron shape like this. Press control D to create a duplicate and place it over here. You can give this any color you want. Maybe I can use the same blue color that I used earlier. Shape outline, no outline. Now it is time for us to add some sweet animation. Let us select this group first. Then go to animations and then choose a simple spin animation. Go to effect options and make it counterclockwise. Now it needs to rotate only for half. So I'm going to say half spin and that is how it is going to spin. Go to animation pane. You can see that this is the animation event. Let us go here. Go to effect options and add a bit of bounce. So it goes like this and we don't really want it going so slow. We want it happening fairly fast, maybe around 0.75 seconds. And when I preview this, that is how it goes. So it reveals the icon and then it makes the text clearly visible. And then let us select this and use wipe. And this is the next animation. And right after that, we are going to have the exact animation as the previous one. So select this group, go to spin animation, make it counterclockwise and then half spin, change the duration to 0.75 seconds and then go to the animation event effect options and say bounce end and then let us have this happening after previous. So after the wipe animation which reveals the arrow we are going to have the spinning. Then once again repeat the same thing wipe and then we will have the same kind of animation which is spin counterclockwise half spin 0.75 seconds and then we are going to have this as bounce end somewhere to the center and say OK and this happens after previous. Now let us go to slideshow and see our work in action. But before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. 
we help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Right off the gate, I only show these icons and give some kind of a hint about what I'm going to talk. Then on a click, I make the text easy for the audience to read and I show that this is the first step of the process we are going to talk about. And once I'm done, then I click and reveal the next step and then the next step. Isn't that beautiful? It's a very simple animation. It definitely attracts your audience's attention. By the way, this is available as a ready-made template in our CEO pack, the latest version 4. We have added a set of 200 new templates to our CEO pack. And if you are already a customer of CEO pack or CEO pack 1 and 2 or all-in-one bundle, you can go back to the download section and download this new CEO pack and you will have these fun templates. As I showed you earlier, this is a three-step process, works exactly the same way that I taught you. And let me show you some other new templates that we added in our CEO pack. These are all fun animations. Here we talk about four key points with icons. On a click, we talk about the first one. Once again, the same idea, we draw the viewer's attention to one point at a time on a click like this. Now, talking about drawing the viewer's attention, you can have it in a circular graphic as well. On a click, we draw the viewer's attention to one step of the circular graphic. Then we move the attention to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and the final one. Let me showcase the final template. This shows one cause and seven effects. This is the cause. And then we talk about the first effect like this. And then on a click, we reveal the second effect, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the final one. All these animations take a lot of time and skill. We realize that you are a busy presenter. You don't have the time to create these kind of animations. And that is the reason why we have got them already made for you in our CEO pack. If you have not already purchased our CEO pack one, then I'll leave the link in the description box below the video. Here you will have 950 plus fully editable PowerPoint templates with interesting animation that will definitely draw the viewer's attention. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial that I put together called Creative Summary Slide in PowerPoint. Once again, this is a template that is added to our CEO pack one. And this is how the animation plays. It's a very interesting, fun animation. On a click, you can see that the text is revealed. And then the second step of the process or the second key summary point is revealed like this. The third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and the final one are shown like this. I will leave a link to this tutorial right now on your screen. So go ahead, watch that video next. I'll see you inside that video.